Hello, my name is Miss Inman and I'm a third grade teacher at Stratton Elementary. And in this video, I'm going to show you what our third grade packets were for day three uh, when it comes to math. And hopefully this video might give you some strategies if you have some similar questions on your packet that you need some help with. Uh, feel free to reach out. I don't mind if your kid goes to the school or not. I will do what I can to help out during this time of such uncertainty and craziness um, in our state and across the nation. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first question is asking, what is one more than 90? So it would be 90 plus 1, which equals 91. So 1 more would be 91. So you take 90 and you look at the second part. What is 1 less than 90? So we have our 90. And we need 1 less. If we're doing less, it's subtraction minus 1 equals 89. 89. So use that strategy, look at 90, and then more, which is adding 10. So it would be 90 plus 10, and then 10 less would be 90 minus 10. Let's see if you can figure out those two there. Okay, so family sets, when you look at this particular problem, 3 plus 9 equals 12. So they want you to look at this and figure out what other equations can you find with these three numbers. So you have 3 plus 9 equals 12. So if 3 plus 9 equals 12, 9 plus 3 also equals 12. So now we're looking at the subtraction. You're going to need to always use the sum as your largest, um, your largest number to subtract from. 12. And then you're going to take one of these two numbers, three or nine. Um, in this case, I'm going to use three. So if you take 12 and subtract three, you are going to get nine. So what other equation can you make with 12 being the largest number using three and nine to complete this last equation. Find the missing numbers. So what finding the missing numbers is you're looking at what numbers you have and you're trying to figure out what's missing. So with this addition problem here, some number plus five is the sum 12. So you're having to think, what number plus 5 equals 12? And the way you can figure that out is you take 12 and you subtract 5 to get this missing number right here. So let's see if you can figure out what that would be. Um, the same goes for this particular problem. If you have to subtract to get the integer for the addition problem, for the subtraction problem, you're going to have to um, you're going to have to figure out what this is. The same way you'd have to figure this out. So, how do you think that you could figure that out? What do you think could happen? We have to find the relationship between 19 and seven with this missing number. So 
you can do 19 minus 7. So that would be 12. So let's see if you can figure out this one up here. Finding the sum. The sum is always addition, okay? The sum is always addition. And you have three numbers that you're going to have to add together. And the easiest way to do that is to do 8 plus 5, which is 13, and then you plus 4. So what is that sum? That's what you're going to have to figure out. If Emily has five markers on her desk and Jacob has six, how many markers do they have all together? This is an addition problem. Okay. So you take the numbers you know, five and six, add them together to get your sum. Okay, this is place value. You have 428. So as I say it, look at the hundreds. If I have 400, you have a total of four hundreds. So that would be 100, plus 100, plus 100, plus 100. That's what that means. You have four hundreds, which equals that four right here. Move on to the tens spot. So there's ones, tens, and hundreds. The tens spot, you just, you look at the number here and you figure out how many tens are there. There are two tens which means it was 10 plus 10. And then you look at your one spot, how many ones are there? And it's eight, so it's the same as one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one. So if you were to add each of these individual numbers together, you'd get 428. Fill in the blank. 30 tens are the same as how many hundreds? Okay, so that would be adding 10 30 times. Okay, so if you have 10. and then you add them together 30 times, you're going to come up with a number, okay? So you're going to need to figure out, you're going to need to add 10, 30 times, so you can skip count. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you can do that 30 times and that will give you how many hundreds that this particular problem is asking for. So just like up here, we're gonna, up here we did ones, tens, and hundreds, and down here you're gonna do hundreds, tens, and ones. It's asking the same thing. So you look at each individual spot, ones, tens, and hundreds. What numbers are there in the one spot there's a zero. Now you figure out what number's in the 10 spot and what number's in the 100 spot, and that is going to be your answer for number eight. I really hope that this helps you with your math day three packet. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Bye.